country has been waiting. It's uh, now around uh, two plus years. Harambe Stars has not been playing and uh, there is a lot of optimism because we have a team in the camp and the team is actually expected uh, to be able to play. A lot of people are saying that then they will be able to play a very, very formidable and also a very, very positive outing when they line up against Iran in the tie, in the friendly tie actually, that is on the cards. And on that front, we have a player that has actually been able to join a camp and for the very first time he's been able to be given a call up and while at it he will be able to play for the national team i'm talking about none other than daniel anyembe so for daniel anyembe and for him he has been given the call up for the very very fast time and he's saying it was not a hard decision for him to choose to play for kenya and not at denmark remember for anyembe actually he was born and also raised to a Kenyan father and also a Danish mother. And he's saying that, yes, I have been able to join the camp. I'm very, very confident and optimistic that I will be able to have a positive outing while at it and also while representing Kenya. So for him, while at the youth level, he was able to captain the under-23 Danish side. And he's saying, yes, that is done. I'm opening a new chapter for my life on that chapter. Maybe it will be a different uh, written script as he plays for Harambe Stars. My name is uh, Daniel Anyembe and uh, I currently live in Denmark. Uh, I'm happy to be here to be a part of the national team. My father is Kenyan and my mother is Danish, so my upbringing is in Denmark. That's where I've been playing football my whole life and uh, I'm just excited to be here to, to play some football for the Kenyan national teams. Well, uh, the federation, they contacted me uh, actually also a few years ago but uh, I sadly ran into an injury. So now again, we started speaking and then the coach, he called me, he involved me in the project and uh, told me that he was uh, excited to, to have me. So uh, when he called, uh, I was not in doubt. Uh, I was ready to, to come to Kenya and, and play for the national team. It was just actually, he didn't need to convince me much because uh, he said that he'd been watching my games and he likes the way that I'm playing. So when I come here, I should, should just express myself and be the player that I am. Uh, and then he, he thinks that I have the quality, but I have to show him, of course. Uh, so, so he didn't need to convince me much because when the opportunity was there, I was ready to take it. It's been uh, very nice. It's, uh, it was very easy to come here because everyone is so uh, warm-hearted and uh, welcoming, so I'm, I'm happy to already be, be playing and uh, training with the, with the guys and uh, they have been welcoming me very, very nice, so I'm happy to be here. So still in the quest to play for the national team, Alfred is a different player altogether, who for him, he never dreamt actually of turning up for the national soccer side, Arambe Stars, and that is until he got a message on his Facebook from Arambe Stars uh, coach Egnik Firat. And uh, actually, uh, Firat, uh, first of all, the MD on uh, Facebook, and then he followed up with a WhatsApp uh, call. And uh, for him, he's saying that he is uh, very, very elated that he's been able to get uh, this opportunity. And he's saying he will use it the best way possible. So for Alfred, he was born and also raised in Kenya to a Kenyan mother and also a British uh, father. And at this particular time, he's saying that they moved to Norway while he was four years uh, old. But now he has been given that call up for the very first time and he hopes he'll be able to produce some positive goods while lining up for Harambe Stars. I was born and raised in uh, Kenya. Uh, I stayed here for 16, 17 years and then I moved to, to Norway. I was caught by surprise. So, um, uh, the, the coach, he sent me a message on uh, Facebook and then asked, to, asked if he could call me on WhatsApp. Then we spoke, he was straight to the point and then asked me to come. So I'm just trying, now this uh, first two days I've just been trying to adapt. And then uh, it was also a long travel. So I also needed to rest and adapt. So the boys have been, been good and kind, so it's, it's easy. The best part, uh, scoring goals. And uh, I can say I'm not a selfish striker. If, uh, if I have a chance to play my teammate in a good position, then I'll, I'll do that. 
So remember, the friendly match will be Kenya against Iran. So we wait, we are optimistic that they will be able to have positive results. Remember, for Iran, they know what it means to play in the World Cup. So for Kenya, we're still dreaming, we're still dreaming, but we are optimistic that maybe also for us at some point, that will be able to become a 